I don't know if you recently saw Mark Zuckerberg, but he's kind of hot. Okay, he's no Ryan Gosling, but he obviously takes care of himself. I mean, have you seen that body? That's a lot more than what you would expect from a nerd, isn't it? Why does he need to be in such a shape? Because sex sells? Nah, it's got to be more than that. There are many reasons for him to be fit, but the most important one, the one we will discuss today, is that exercising actually makes you smarter. Yup, because it's incredibly beneficial to our brain. And you know, Mark Zuckerberg really needs his brain to be in top-notch condition. But he's not the only one who needs his brain to be in shape. We all do. That's why you're here, right? Well, exercising should be on your to-do list as well, because it helps brain cells to develop. People who exercise have more brain cells and they have bigger ones. So if your reason for not hitting the gym was because you're a brainy person, I am sorry. Because this reason has officially become an excuse. Now, you will not only get a bigger brain, you'll also be able to learn faster if you exercise. Yup, and that is because exercising helps to create connections between neurons. What does that mean? Look, these are neurons. They are little cells responsible for transmitting information in your brain. Everything you've ever thought and everything you've ever learned was thanks to these babies. And the more your neurons are connected between each other, the faster they can exchange information and the faster and better you learn. Another good point for Mark's sexy body. Uh, what was I saying? I have big brain and fast learning. But we're not done yet. Exercising also improves your memory in the long run, which is pretty useful. You can not only learn faster, you can also remember what you've learned. And this is certainly something that can make us happy. Just like sports, actually. Exercising improves our mood by releasing endorphins, serotonin and noradrenaline. These hormones are responsible for the high you feel after a good workout. And the best part is that you get to keep this high with you for a long time after you're done with your workout, as exercising improves the global mood both immediately as well as for the next couple of hours. Which comes in really handy when half of the planet is eating popcorn while you sweat at your trial. Because the money for your private gym comes from selling private data of these same popcorn eaters. Right, Mark? This should be enough to convince you to start exercising and build up your body just like Zuckerberg's. But it's not all. Facebook is designed to take your focus and play baseball with it. But exercise is here to do the exact opposite. Playing baseball with your body instead helps you to improve your focus. Of course, baseball is just an example. Any kind of physical activity will make it easier for you to concentrate and will raise your productivity. And let's face it, this is something we all need since we live in a world full of distractions. Researchers have proven that working out helps us to focus not just better, but also for longer periods of time. One simple workout means immediate benefits deeper and easier focus for the next two hours. Last but not least, exercising also helps to protect you from Alzheimer's disease and dementia. You see, most of the benefits exercising has on the brain happens because it helps two parts of the brain to develop, the hippocampus and the prefrontal cortex. While it's the decline of these same two parts that helps dementia and Alzheimer's disease to develop as we age. So by exercising and developing our hippocampus and our prefrontal cortex, we don't only become smarter and happier, we also prevent some of the worst brain degeneration. That's the ultimate win-win. Now I know what you're thinking. How much of a lazy ass can I still be? What is the minimum amount of exercise I have to do for the maximum amount of benefits? Well, I have two pieces of good news and one piece of bad news. The bad news is that neuroscientists recommend a minimum of 30 minutes of aerobic exercise 3 to 4 times a week. That means you should probably do more than that. Now the good news. Firstly, as long as you get your heart pumping, it counts as a workout. So if you mop the floor like crazy, it counts. If you run to the bakery to get a muffin, it counts. Although you might not get Zook's sexy body if you repeat this exercise too often. Hmm. Sorry, freshly baked. The second good news is that even one minute of exercise will make you enjoy these benefits. 
you'll get more and more benefits the longer you keep moving. But a quick workout is better than nothing at all. If you're really not that sportive, I'd recommend to try the 7-minute workout. It's a very good start and as its name says, it only takes you 7 minutes to complete it. Try to do that for a week and you should already feel a lot better and be productive as hell. And that's it for today, thank you for watching! Now tell me in the comments, do you enjoy physical activity or is it a pain in the ass for you? I enjoy it, but only if I start right in the morning, if not I'm lazy the whole day. Like the video and share it so more people can get more inspired to keep up with their new year's resolutions. Subscribe to not miss our next video and see you then, bye bye!